So the new baby is waiting just behind me, as you can see. But first, we want to show you a few photos from the production phase. Early December, the boat was taken out of the hall for the very first time in order to get into the water and be test driven. And of course, it was a super exciting day also, not least for production and design. Uh, the designer and project manager, Christopher Jensen, it was such a relief to see his boat on the water. But was he anxious and maybe also a bit nervous? I bet he was. Let's see a short video. Uh, a great day, great situation. We are launching our boat for the first time. Uh, so it's going to be really exciting to see if everything works. Of course it does, but uh, you never know. So yeah, great day. So as you saw, it was a cold day. Test driving a boat in cold conditions. Well, it could, could be nicer, but actually it came out very positively and um, of course also the x CEO Crane Nielsen was super excited and very very proud. Let's see a, a short video cut of Crane Nielsen's um, experience. 41 years ago we launched the X79 here in Hederslev. Today we just 10 minutes ago launched the Red Baron. It's a bit chilly here today but we are in a very very good mood looking forward to the test sailing this afternoon. Yes, Crane was right. It was a bit chilly. Maybe you noticed that he claimed that he was test sailing the boat. Well, everybody knows a power boat is not test sailed, it's test driven. Eventually, I'm sure he'll learn it. Anyway, the boat was test driven. Everybody was happy. There's always a, my, uh, a couple of things to be uh, refined. And so they did during the next month. And today, the perfect outstanding Red Baron version is standing here, mint condition, ready to enter the world. Let's watch the video from the day when um, the, the design team was test driving, driving, driving the boat. 41 years ago, we launched the X79 here in Hellerslev. That was on a hot day. It's definitely not hot today. We have two degrees Celsius here in Hellerslev, but 10 minutes ago, we launched the Red Baron, our new X Power. I now want to introduce you to the owner and chairman of the board of x Yachts, Ip Kuno. Besides being an experienced uh, cruiser, he's also a very competitive sailor. And I believe soon also an X-Power driver. So driver, yeah. <laughs> yes. So, um, Ip, why a powerboat? I'm sure the whole world is asking, but because x Sharks, after all, is world famous for, for building sailboats. So why a powerboat? Well, we are still building 
sailboats and that's our main business as you can see and we'll see later <coughs> but um, the sailboat business is growing slowly we have taken market share over the last year and we are having a nice business in sailing boats but we want to be a much bigger company and uh, the market for power boats um, is much much bigger and if we can get into that market um, it'll be uh, very good for for x shots um, the world is changing and ease of use is becoming more and more important um, you can see uh, even even large yachts are now raced uh, single-handed or double-handed and uh, um, ease of use is one of the things that we have uh, focused on in our sailing boats but exactly the same with the the power boat it shall be uh, very easy to use and uh, it's it's you just jump into the boat you start it and off you go and two hours later you are back and have been uh, around the world almost it's, it's it's a fast boat and it's another experience so so we want to to um, have this company uh, to double its turnover in a few years and uh, that's the way to do that not that we do not want to take market share uh, still in the sailing boat area but but it will still be limited few percentage five percent ten percent every year this is total new business thanks very much Ip. and now i want to introduce you to ceo of x yachts crane brink nielsen so crane I'm wondering, the theme here today, I assume, is mainly X-Power, obviously, and the Red Baron, obviously. But uh, you've chosen to have the beautiful X-79 standing here behind you. Why is that? I actually think it's a, it's a wonderful story that uh, one and a half years ago, uh, this baby, X-79 X number one, was located in UK. And uh, actually, that... Um, that worked really uh, well getting that boat here to Denmark and Biwer and his team has worked a lot to get this boat uh, in, a, in a very nice condition preparing for this launch day today and we think that building a red boat 42 years ago um, sorry yeah? we just need to switch on your microphone sorry for that uh, is that yep yeah. well that shows that this is direct <laughs> Transmission, doesn't it? On? Yep. It's still on mute. Anyway, it shows we are on direct TV here, and um, <laughs> that's how it is. None of us are professional uh, media people, but but I I tell you, we are good at building boats. And we are professional. And yeah. we are professionals. I okay. think now and the sound is working. on. So what I actually asked Kano about, why is the X-79 standing here? And you just explained it, but I don't think anybody heard it. So let's have it again. I'll be happy to do it again. What we uh, were so fortunate was that one year ago, uh, this uh, beautiful boat was located in the uh, UK and it didn't look like it does right now. But uh, one of the founders, Bio Hansen and his son, actually spent a winter refurbishing this boat. And we thought it was great to have a look at this boat, which has a history of 42 years, 500 boats built, and now 6,000 boats since this, uh, this day that that boat was launched. And now starting a whole new era with the Red Baron. So that is why we are yeah. positioning them in the same room. And, and I assume that boat was also ahead of its time, right? It was uh, amazing uh, at that time, 42 years ago, it was significantly faster and lighter uh, than the competition and it won races right away. Uh, so building on that heritage, uh, I think that's, uh, that's a great start for us with the Red Baron. And a good story in any case. Ooh. Yeah. Um, is the boat still winning today? Is this, is this still a fast boat, sailboat? Yeah, we see a lot of these boats participating. Uh, still a lot of young people is actually starting projects where they are refurbishing this old X-79. So it's become a bit of a retro thing and it has a, a beautiful community around it still. Hmm. Very exciting. So um, we're not unveiling the, the Red Baron yet. I want to take you to the next hall. So we'll just go in into here. We're standing in one of the um, show halls of X-Sharks. 
Actually, the manufacturing facility or the headquarter here of x is a very large um, facility with lots of halls um, where the Red Baron is or was shown here is just one of them. Here's another show hall or um, exhibition hall. In here you'll see a variety of the pure X's, um, a couple of halls down that way is the service um, division where 24 people are working year-round uh, maintaining uh, owner boats, um, getting uh, second-hand boats into wonderful conditions. They come out as new. Uh, there are lots of owners who are bringing in their boat in fall, leaving their key to the service manager, well knowing that that it's being taken care of and in spring he comes back he picks up the boat in absolutely wonderful conditions it reminds me a bit about my own laundry at home i put the laundry in my laundry basket and next time i see it it comes out perfectly perfectly ready so up here we've got the full line of pure uh, almost the full line pure x's um and i'm saying almost because uh, the five six which is about to be launched globally is actually standing in another hall when we take the x power out to baptize it in the water later today the 5.6 will get into the hall and the, the whole idea is that the 5.6 will be standing here during the winter until March, April. People can come and watch it, um, have a look inside. It's an absolutely astonishing boat and it's worth driving many, many hours uh, traveling from around the world to see that boat for sure. And same thing with this line here. We've got the 4.9 standing there. We've got the 4.6. We've got the 4.3 that I'm standing on. It's one of the, by far, the, the, the best-selling uh, model at the moment. But I'm sure in a year or so, uh, the 4.0 standing here and next to us in two different versions um, will be selling very well as well. Um, this boat, the 4.0, has already won three uh, international awards. And although um, Exjax has been used to uh, achieving um, international awards over the many years, it's always nice to have an international award being um, honored as the best boat of the year in its class. It is fantastic. As I said, later on today, the, the um, X flagship, the 5.6, will be transported into the showroom um, and people can come and, and um, see it. So let's go back to the X power. Down here we see the sales offices where a dedicated crew is ready to organize meetings, visits from uh, clients around the world. We have uh, people coming um, to see the facilities. We'll guide them through the factory, show them some of our secrets and definitely introduce them to all the, the, the many boats. But um, we're almost back into the X-Power Hall and um, before that, and still we're not unveiling it, I want to show you uh, some pictures of the 5.6 when, just when it hit the water for the first time before it was test sailed. And on these pictures you'll see 18.5 tons of beautiful, magnificent sailboat hanging in a center lift under the crane. It's it's uh, early afternoon, it's already dark in Denmark. I think it's absolutely beautiful pictures. It gives a good impression of that wonderful boat. <laughs> Now 
We're not unveiling the X-Power yet. The Red Baron is still standing here behind me. I want to take full, of uh, full of advantage of this, uh, this moment today. All your attention around, around the world. Um, spending just a minute on the Gold Cup. The Gold Cup is a fantastic concept and really one of the things that is so characteristic to egg shots because it, it uh, gets people, it gets egg shots owner, sailors from around the world together each second year in an absolutely fantastic event called the Gold Cup. What we are going to show you now is a short video from probably one of the best, and there's been a lot of Gold Cups over the years. I would say one of the best Gold Cups ever. That was the anniversary, 40 years anniversary of this company. And of course, that event was hosted by the house here in Hattersleu, Denmark. Tw 2021, it's going to happen in Aarhus, also in Denmark. Potentially, it could be any anywhere in the world. But the concept is always the same getting people together, having a wonderful time. And yes, there's racing too, but the main thing is have a good time, enjoy your wonderful lifestyle, sailing uh, with your best friends, your family, networking. It's absolutely wonderful. Share with us, how has it felt to have all these Exjack sailors here at the yard? It's pretty amazing that we have 900 sailors and 120 boats traveling from 15 nations. Uh, I actually saw that one came from Australia. That's 16,000 kilometers uh, from here, so I'm pretty amazed. Of course, I'm extremely happy. It's a very satisfactory for me to be, be part of it still. Uh, I'm very proud, and, uh, but I also want to say I, I feel I have to also share this proudness with my brother. We did a lot of thinking uh, prior to this because this is not only racing for us, this is just as much being here on shore. So actually today we decided to make short courses to be sure to have time together for beer, coffee and a good time uh, on shore. That's just as important for us. So 2012, Ip Kune became the, the owner of Exjacts, the primary owner. And uh, for sure, a lot of things have happened since then. Um, there's a couple of things, or many things have not changed. Exjacts is still manufacturing, designing, selling um, world-class yachts all over the world. It's still based on professional design, innovation, technology, and absolutely outstanding craftsmanship. That hasn't changed and will never, I'm sure, if you ask Ip. But um, I'm sure all ever since Ip um, bought Exact, he has had a plan that he wants to develop their business, take it into the next chapter. And um, I'm sure that X-Power has been on his mind since that day. Um, so, uh, one day, a couple of years ago, he was out cruising with with the crane. They were sailing as far as, far as I remember on Eeps X43, and um, like many other times, they uh, many times before, they were discussing how can we take Exhaust to the next level. Um, and I'm sure they were talking about, well, we have 42 years of experience with premium yachts. We have all it takes to make the best yachts in the world. Now let's enter the powerboat market with all our know-how. And so they did. And I'm happy to once again introduce you to Ip and give Ip the word. We are very close to the unveiling of the X-Power. Thank you. Thank you, Tom. 
<coughs> so welcome again uh, to this big day in the history of X Shorts. As said already eight years ago, when I became owner and chairman of the company, uh, there were plans for going into the powerboat market with a day cruiser. But at that time, we had so many other priorities, so it had to wait at, until today. For the last five years, we've been planning for this moment where we could present a boat that would live up to our visions, to our missions, and to our high standards. Because our vision is that x -Yacht provides superior sailing pleasure to fulfill our customers' dreams. Our mission, our promise is to challenge the market through strength in design, innovation, technology, and craftsmanship. So it's a hard demand to put on our new initiative, but it's necessary because otherwise we would gamble with our brand's trustworthiness. Therefore, it has taken time to create this fantastic boat, where sailing pleasure and performance is excellent, where the design is in front of the market, and where the technology is advanced and unique. The Red Baron is the name we have given the X Power Boat, and the first 15 will all be red. After that, you can get it in almost any color. The name comes after a flying ace from the First World War. He was the absolutely best in his league, respected not only by his own, but also by the competition. And so, it will also be with our Red Baron. It is, as Crane have already said, red because our first boat 42 years ago was also the red famous X-79. Number one stands over there, renovated as it is exactly as the day it was created. So it's a great pleasure for me to reveal this beautiful boat. If you get one, you will have a signature boat. So let's go to the revealing. Here it is. Wonderful, wonderful. I like the smoke <laughs> and the boat. Thanks a lot, Ip. Uh, Crane, I'll pass the word to you. Thank CEO you. of Axiax, it must be so fantastic for you. Such a day, such a boat. It's for sure a very, very special day and a very, very special moment. And I also see the smile in Nip's eyes right now <laughs> after this. Um, of course, it's an honor to be here together with this, uh, with this beauty. But of course, the format of today has uh, changed quite a bit. Uh, when we planned for this, we would have a lot of customers, the press, uh, all our partners here today. <coughs> that is not possible. But today we are all the X-Power staff members here today. So <coughs> it's different, but it's special, and we love to be here with you. And I want to thank you all for uh, attending this, uh, because uh, this is yes, a w new way of doing it. We're happy you're here, and I want to thank the whole staff of x -Act and X-Power as well, making this possible uh, here today. We did a lot of test sailing, as Torben said uh, earlier, during December, and uh, it was not a big surprise. We, uh, we fell in love, uh, for sure we did. Um, and it is about the unique design of this boat, the ease of use, as Ip talked about, and then the driving pleasure. Uh, we think that things, they, they really matched. It's been a process getting here uh, because we had to establish a team with Christopher heading this up, uh, and, and we had to bring new competencies into the company. And uh, actually today here we stand with the plan that are executed so far and the boat is ready to be baptized in 30 minutes. That is uh, amazing. 
Christoph and his team managed to keep their feet on the ground and make all this uh, happen so the launch date could be kept as planned. Why is it so wonderful? It is because the connection to the X-79 that started this great, great heritage that we are now uh, taking part with a new product. So, as I talked about earlier, the X-79 stands here refurbished uh, after a long process. And we are now 6,000 yachts away from that launching date. So it's been an incredible success that the three founders has made over the years. And now we're looking into this uh, whole new world for us. And the, back to one of the reasons was that this boat was fast. It, it's changed the whole dynamic in the market. And that's what we're aiming to do in this new territory for us. What you could see from the movie was also that the way this boat drives is really uh, magnificent. During the test, we pushed it to the limit, tried all what, what the boat was uh, capable of, and uh, it went according to plan. Next week, we will start sailing with a lot of customers that have booked with us, and uh, we would yeah, share this joy with them. Um, in the video, in a couple of minutes, you'll see uh, that Christopher and uh, Nikolai, uh, who are heading up the team, they will explain some of these features so you can learn more about the boat. Again, back to the unique design, that's quite visual here behind me, and then the ease of use, how you can uh, handle a boat extremely easily, you will see that, and then this about the driving pleasure, how is that built in uh, to the boats. And of course, we are so strong believers that this each, these features makes our customers able to live out their dreams at sea and enjoy the lifestyle that they really love. So, enjoy this uh, day together with us, and we wish this boat a wonderful life together with our customers, and uh, thank you for listening so far. Thank you, Crane, very much. and. Um the next thing here is actually that the X power is being transported out of the hall down to the water where it will be baptized. We're gonna, not going to spend time online with that. We'll film it and it will be brought on the websites, various um, social media uh, within the next week. Um, when the X power is out, we'll have the 5.6 coming in. As I said just a while ago, um, it will be here during the winter and uh, we're welcoming our guests to come and see that boat as well as the X-Power. While I'm still talking here, Ip and Crane will be going to the X-Lounge, which is a new facility that has just been created uh, up to this uh, special day today. In the X-Lounge, we have created a small area of the X facility where we want to um, invite and welcome customers, press, families, friends, uh, friends of X Yachts, whatever, into a cozy room where we can sit. And you'll see when we get there that it's just next to the place where we have uh, soon uh, a number of new X Yachts in the water waiting for their new owners to come and pick them up uh, and sail away. Um, but before we get there, because I need to walk there as well, um, we'll s give you a, a short video about the interior and the some of the details of the X-Power. And I would say, and I know the video because it was made yesterday, it's only a couple of fantastic details that are being covered here. But come and see the boat. Uh, and you'll experience so many fantastic details, so many good ideas, innovative things, so much quality that I'm sure you'll be impressed. So over to the um, chief designer and his uh, mate on this journey, manufacturing or producing uh, the X-Power, Christopher and Nikolai. So my name is uh, Christoph Jensen. I'm a designer and development manager for X-Power at uh, x Yards in Denmark. And uh, we have just designed the, this uh, great baby you see in the back. Uh, and we are all really proud of it and looking forward to uh, introducing it to the world.
Exarts has uh, 42 years of experience with uh, designing and building world-class sailing boats. We believe that those uh, key uh, visions and uh, values uh, have to be brought into the power world, X-Power uh, uh, boat and brand. Uh, and the key values are great, fantastic design, beautiful design, uh, driving pleasure and the ease of use. So uh, we've added the T-top to the deck and uh, to be honest with you, first of all, is to make it look uh, great, uh, to, act, uh, to add the character and personality to the boat. Um, but it also adds uh, a lot of good uh, practical uh, features. It uh, gives you shade from the sun, uh, gives you shelter from the rain, and uh, wherever you are in the world, you can actually uh, put on a canvas around the T-top and uh, you are really sheltered from the environment and uh, rain or whatever you are faced with. My name is uh, Nikolai Sester and uh, I'm a senior marine engineer here at uh, Exact where I'm employed at the X Power project. I've been uh, in charge of uh, all technical systems on the boat. What we aim for here has uh, been a fully integrated system that's very easy to use. If you want to go for a cruise with your friends, you can buy a push on one button here, set everything on. So the system is taking care of everything you need to be concerned about and you can enjoy the sunset with your friends. We have a hidden anchor system where a flush mounted bow gate is covering the anchor system and it's very easy to operate with the remote so you can drop the anchor and retract it from the steering position. Down here we have a very silent uh, V8 engine that is easily accessible by pushing one button. So in the cockpit of our cruiser we have added a compact uh, pantry unit where you can prepare foods and drinks as you go along. We have a burner, we have a drawer for cutlery coffee machine, waste bin on the side. So the X-Power 33C has a large cabin area with uh, great big windows uh, from the hall side, uh, giving a lot of daylight into the room. And we have uh, added uh, exclusive materials, giving you a luxurious feeling. We have also added a spacious head with shower and toilet and a magic mirror. We have now moved to the X Yachts Lounge. We call it the X Lounge in the house here. It was made in order to have a nice, cozy place, a bit stylish, I would say, um, where we can invite uh, customers, friends of the house, press, whoever wants to sit in wonderful con um, surroundings um, in a relaxed atmosphere. One little funny story is actually that the, the room was, the interior was made by the people working in the offices here. Um, so it's definitely built and designed with a heart for the house, for the company. Like I said, we're inviting uh, family, friends, customers uh, to this area. Uh, they can sit here and look out. Uh, in a couple of months, there will be it will be packed with new boats and there'll be customers, uh, owners, coming owners, coming here to this little X lounge in order to pick up uh, the new boat. Um, as you see over here, I've got Ip and Crane sitting here. They're just about to open a beer. So the uh, atmosphere is just like we wanted. Relaxed. <laughs> just relaxed and uh, and nice. Behind me uh, you'll see one of the most well-known lighthouses in Denmark if you're sailing, if you're cruising in Danish waters. I'm sure you know that place. So I'm gonna sit down. Maybe I can do it without strangulating you.
train. Just to kill the beers. Can I take a few words? Yes. <laughs> we were thinking of, of what should we drink here? Should we have champagne? Uh, should we have wine? No. Uh, because we are sailors, so we should have beer and we should have it from the bottle. <laughs> well, it Thank wasn't you. planned, but, but if the chairman says so, then... It is like that. that. That's it. So let's start with the toast for the baron okay. then. Yeah, toast for the baron. For the baron. For the baron. Red baron. <laughs> yeah. And it's labeled red baron. <laughs> <laughs> A tiny taste of engine oil. Mm. Yes. <laughs> okay, I, I have to say, I wasn't prepared for this one, but yes, I, I like it even. Um, I would like to ask you, um, personal, this is a personal question, I know. Do you have any plans to have an X-Power? Yes. I already reserved a place for it in uh, Copenhagen, so... Um, I will certainly have one the 1st of April. It will be delivered. Mm. And uh, where are you going to uh, drive it? I'm going to, I'm going to drive it on Ursum. Uh, but as it is a fast boat, uh, in a few hours, half a day, you, you can be in Sweden, you can be on Bornholm, uh, you can be everywhere on Sealand if you want to. So, But I'm not going to weekend over it. Uh, it's a... It's a fast boat, and it'll bring me wherever I want to go. But I have a four six lying waiting for me, so there'll be a little competition between the two of them. I'm sure it'll be very difficult to to make a choice there. But Ip is not gonna stay overnight in the boat, uh, Crane. But but actually, the boat is designed to you can stay overnight as well. Yeah, uh, it's primarily a, a day cruiser or a, or a weekender. That's what it's designed for. But there is a small cabin, which you just saw on the nice video from uh, Christophe and Nikolai. So that's possible. Mm. Yeah. And now talking talking with you here. Yeah. I'm I'm curious to know how is um, Exjax doing currently in general because I have heard some rumors that it's going pretty well. Yeah. Uh, 2020 was really, really exciting. Even I was just chatting about it before you came, uh, that uh, we started off the year making plans on uh, whoa, what is happening in the world around us. Should we be able to to kind of decrease capacity? And um, and right now we have just uh, close to closing the books uh, after a record year for, for best in decades for us uh, because going... Going very digital in the spring, that was a fast decision we took that uh, we could not see our customers, which we used to. So we needed to go digital very, very fast. And actually it turned out that over the summer, when customers visited us, they had configured their boat online. And when they came here, they were really, really well prepared. So we have come out really, really strong uh, last year. And I think Ip will also elaborate what that means for our company in terms of further investments. Hmm. I, um, I've heard that many um existing exact owners that means sailboat owners are showing big interest for the x power is that surprising to you or were you prepared of course we, we had an idea that uh, those familiar with three water lines they would also love the baron but but i'm i'm pretty amazed that uh, last week we sold uh, two boats of the new uh, red barons two current x owners so so they both have, like Ibis planning to do, actually, ha they have a wonderful sailboat and then they have their day cruise uh, on the side. So I think right now we are attracting a lot of sailors um, in our community. So, so um, needless to ask you, but I'm, I'm doing it anyway. Who will be the, the, the customer of x -Jacks? It's not going to be only, we're not cannibalizing our own uh, owners, but the, who is the owner? Yeah, um, as, as what is he going for? What does he want? Yeah, as just uh, getting a little bit back to where we were, that, that right now we attract the sailors because they know us. And I'm a bit humble on, on how to attract the real power boaters because they're not so familiar with our brand. But of course, along the way, they will learn that we have been sailboats for, for 42 years. So we have some knowledge. We have a, a, a long history of, uh, of designing solutions in-house. So, so we need to attract and learn about the, the real power boaters because that, that's the next area we are, we are going into. Uh, sorry, getting back to your question. <laughs> yeah. No, that that was what what are they all aiming for? And and yeah. I one thing I was thinking, well, definitely style, right, and quality. 
Yeah, f for sure that, that we try to build on the heritage where we where we come from, which is uh, without any compromises, as as Ip uh, mentioned uh, earlier. So so when you see the boat, you see a boat where design is unique. We, we need to stand out from the crowd as we do with our sailboats, and then the ease of use. It's actually so that I come from a sailing uh, background uh, and has not driven many power boats, but I can go on board this boat push one button, then it fires up the engine, it fires up the bow thruster and the ventilation, and I can go sailing. I didn't think that was possible. So so it is really, really ease of use, which is something that we're trying to stress along uh, our, our sailboat line as well. Um, so that's just to mention something. Yeah. And now, now a question that I'm sure a lot of people are interested in, and it, it's a question to both of you. you you'll have your, your, your chance to answer. Um, X... Power 33C is the first um, power boat from x -Shax. Will there be other boats? We can start with you, uh, Crane. Are there plans for other boats? For sure there is. Uh, we are investing heavily in our company right now. And now we want to bring this boat to the market. And we are learning a lot about power boats right now. But we have planned a range going forward because this is not a one-off for us. We're going to build the same X-Power uh, range as we've done on, on sailboats with a strong commitment and over a long uh, period of time. So, so this is a full commitment from even me. And I guess it's going to be a huge investment. So I should ask the chairman: <laughs> yeah. Is is it just a dream of Crane, or is it a yes? We will make. No, as I said in my speech when we revealed the boat, that um, it's it's it it was extremely important for us uh, to uh, create a boat that could uh, fulfill our vision, our mission, and our standards. If we couldn't have done that, uh, then it would not be interesting for us um, because uh, the sailboats are still our, our main business, of course, and will be that, and that it will be for a number of years. But running a shipyard uh, with sailboats and powerboats, it's a difficult business, and... Uh, um, <clears throat> we are, are for us it's important that it's also a profitable business because we know that people want to to be employed in a profitable business it's not so interesting to to uh, be year after year in a, in a loss giving business so so that's very important for us and also um, you can see in the sailing boat you have a lot of investments year after year, new models, new models, new models, and now we have then uh, gone into uh, the power business. And I think we have had so much positive interest in our boat, so we have already, some months ago, decided to extend our capacity in the yard so that we can deliver the number of boats that we think that we can sell. So while earning money, uh, we can also uh, invest a lot because this company is is very very close to my heart so so it, it's it's an open wallet it's an open almost <laughs> it's an open wallet that's a that's a good one and and i'm sure you're right people like also also for your 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 staff your crew here it is easier to attract world-class employees if you have a profitable company with a, a bright future yes i fully understand what you're saying um uh, there has been some talking about the colors, and of course there will be, yeah. because why all red? We have heard it many times, and I'm sure people around in the in their homes around the world now are asking, but why red? Yeah. And um, I'm sure you have some words for that. Uh, for sure. I think it's maybe it's uh, six or nine months ago that Ip and I elaborated on, on how can we stand out a bit here. And uh, it was actually Ip's idea to, to link a story to this boat of the Red Baron. He gave uh, us some uh, notes on that. Uh, and uh, I, I will really admit the day it really came true for me was on the 9th of December, which you just saw in the video. Then it was grey, it was cold. And I would imagine that movie would have been awful without the Red Baron and the color of it. It really made it stand out. So so we want to stand out as we do uh, on our sailboats. We want to build a story around it. So you will, as Ip said, you can get a signature boat. And I see 
quite some quoting right now in terms of being on that team that have the signature boat. And then, of course, we will develop our range and some color schemes uh, so, so we can customize as we do with our sailboats today to yeah. the customer's needs. Yeah, I fully agree that the boat is absolutely outstanding. It looks outstanding. It's beautiful in red. Mm. And I agree. I saw it on the 9th of December as well. Um, and um, the truth is also you've sold boats. Yeah. And, and, um, That's why I'm smiling. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, and the fact is also, if people want to change their color, it's it's quite easy, right? Yeah. Because film, yep. with film you can make all kinds of, of yep. options. So Absolutely. Yeah. So uh, and, and back to the to the smiling, of course, that uh, Yves says he's willing to invest, but we also need to to deliver, and that's why we're so happy that we already started selling boats because it's actually quite difficult because the customers cannot visit us. So mm -hmm. so it's in the digital world that we work with our clients right now. Yeah. So um, I want to first of all say congratulations to both of you with uh, with this new baby, new member of the Axiax family, and uh, I'm I'm I fully understand why you're smiling, <laughs> both of you. <laughs> so, so 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 cheers. Cheers for a bright cheers. future. <laughs>